I think Phil is like 100% authentic. I really, really like what he had to say. I like the way he said it. And I like that he's like a real down to earth human being. I, uh, gone to a lot of seminars, a lot, a lot of seminars, and I'm always com comparing to see which one, and I really think at this point, I find Phil like having the most to offer and um, making me feel confident in what he said. Uh, I do think that I am already on the right road. I just want to make sure that I was, and I am going to, you know, uh, go back to the office to meet up with your team and that everything's going the way it should be going. I felt his passion. I really felt he was, as I said, authentic. He, he believes and lives what he says. Um, I just don't think there's a dishonest bone in his body just from what I've seen in that short period of time. I think it was very pointed. It uh, sort of hit on a lot of topics um, and ones that are dear, I know, to my wife and I's heart relative to our age and where the economy is now going. And it was put together in a manner that just made common sense. By him giving us some background about himself, I thought he came over very sincere in wanting to help people. And I didn't feel like he was trying to cram something down by signing you up with an appointment. I felt like he was trying to give you an education on the marketplace. And it's certain on our part that we're going to follow up because some things that we thought we were doing correctly, we aren't doing correctly. And sort of as, as uh, Phil said, the common sense approach. I thought Phil was very relaxed, very down to earth talking to individuals, not to a prepared uh, system. I was very impressed. I, I, I thought Phil was a, a great uh, presenter. His, his approach was a little different and it was enjoyable. I thought Phil was very down to earth. He has a marvelous capacity to judge his audience, to associate with people, very likable, and um, he really draws you in, and so he's a very talented guy. To me, the term crash-proofing means being able to hold on to the net gain that you've made without seeing it just dwindle down and slip away from you. And that's what we're looking at today, a very difficult market, one that goes up and down without necessarily rhyme and reason. And uh, I'm always looking for some words of wisdom. I enjoy this presentation. He's uh, very uh, aggressive in his presentation, obviously knowledgeable in the field. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed all of his remarks, so I really had a great time. Well, that's what I mean by aggressive and knowledgeable or interested. Uh, I believe what he said. I think he's very trustworthy, his presentation. He's interested in people and wants to do the best for them and show that he has the ability to do that. So I, I thought it was, a, it was to take two other people and drive down to Washington. I thought it was, you know, it was an effective way of uh, introducing him as somebody who is for the public and interested in presenting his point of view. I thought it was very insightful and it made me think about a lot of things that uh, I had been thinking of and some, in some ways procrastinating on. And as you get older, you often wonder if you are going to outlive your money. And that's something that we don't want to do. We don't want to be one of those 80-year-olds, if we live that long, uh, to not be able to have money to live comfortably on. I think crash proofing is looking at your assets and seeing that they're not going to go down. That at least whatever you put in an instrument that it's going to be stable and stay there, that you're not going to lose your principal. You hopefully will make money, but you will not lose money.